Basically, the, uh, on the use of extracorporeal photophoresis, I think what makes this therapy uh, extremely attractive is its low side effect profile. I think this is something which in the medical field is not that common. Uh, we know that we need to do studies and I think what needs to be explored is the optimal timetable on how often this treatment should be performed. And I think what's very important is with, uh, we have a lot of new drugs that are being used in the treatment of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. Some of these drugs were reviewed. There are a lot of clinical trials going on, but there's no major breakthrough. But the drugs that we have available, uh, such as uh, uh, bexarotene, targretin, these are uh, rexinoids, or interferon alpha, are drugs which can be combined with photophoresis. And we know that the preferential treatment of these patients is using combinations. Of course, looking into the future, we hope that some of the targeted molecules that are being used in other parts, uh, in other fields of oncology, will also be used in the treatment of this disease. At the moment, we don't have uh, strong data suggesting that we're going to be as successful as we have been. And the idea here is, of course, to combine photophoresis also with the modern targeted uh, therapies against anti-PD-1 or PD-1 ligand and the like.